Hi, this is Ingrid from Quilt Essential Co. And we're going to be doing our April block of the month. It comes around really quickly. So, a couple of things. Beautiful quilt behind me is called Simplify, and it's a pattern by Cluck Cluck So. And what I like about their patterns is they use pre-cuts. It uses a jelly roll from Tilda's Cotton Beach line, and it also makes several sizes. So you can make a baby all the way up to a king, and it turns out really pretty. And we're going to be cutting our block right away, and I've got some exciting things to share with you. So we're going to be cutting out our block. A is a rectangle, same size as B, so you could stack them and cut them together. C is a square. From your D, make sure that you cut them carefully. One is going to be wider than the other two, and they're both the same, or they're all the same length. And then you've got your last one right here. And we're going to be sewing our block, and this is going to be one of your favorites, I'm sure, because it's going to turn out really good. So first of all, you're going to stack your A and B and make sure that they're the right sides up and you're going to cut them with your perfect rectangle ruler. And just as a little tip, in case you haven't been doing this, because most people have, but some people haven't, just take that little tip off here and you'll find they'll stack really nicely together. So when you then sew them, and you place them together. This fits perfectly up in here, and these line up perfectly here. And then you're just gonna sew straight across, and I'll meet you back here. So when you've sewn these A's and B's, you're gonna trim these up. Normally we don't, but this time we're going to. And we wanna make sure that we have the right length, which is five, and we're going to trim these to two and a half. If you have a two and a half inch ruler, you can use that or use your quick trim ruler. So trim up one side, flip it. See, I've tried to keep my points and trim up the other. So you're gonna do that to all four of your pieces. Now we're gonna do a partial seam. Take the C you're going to lay one of these right across the top. You'll only be sewing from the middle portion of C out to the edge and press away, leave this open. You then put your next one in the same spot here and you're gonna sew all the way down. Turn it, take the next one. You're going to be placing it here Fit it on, turn it. Remember, I don't have seam allowances here. It will fit, believe me. And then you sew the last one down. And once you've sewed the last one down, you just flip this seam and finish the seam across the bottom. And here is the center of your block. And it will look like this. Now we're gonna do these. Now you've sewn your wide D's and E's together, and you're going to be cutting this in half. Press the way I've told you. And actually with the quick trim ruler, it's nice because it has this white line right down the middle, and that's one and three quarters. So you're going to put that white line right on the edge of your piece. Cut across. Now my rotary cutter really needs a new blade. Oh, absolutely. I think I need to work at a quilt shop. And you've got your two pieces. So on your center square here, you sew top and bottom. You're gonna sew your pieces. These are Ds, press to D. And now these are all ready to go for your sides. And everything will fit together beautifully. And that's the block this month. So that's our block this time. I just want to let you know that we're going to be doing something exciting. Your next block will be ready for pickup May 13th and 14th. And at the same time, we're going to do demo days. We haven't done something like that since before COVID. So you can check on what kind of demos we're going to be doing. They're on our website. Just look up under classes, demo days in May. And there are sign up events. 
and we're going to be talking about precision sewing, how to make things more precise, how to get your blocks really nice, how to use up some scraps that you might have, all kinds of different topics. So please check out those demos. And if you found this video useful, please leave us a like and click subscribe for future content. And this has been Ingrid from Quilt Essential Co. And thanks for sewing with me today. See you very soon.